Benson Boone has had a huge year. 2024 has seen the release of his debut album Fireworks and Rollerblades and contained within it the monumental hit single Beautiful Things, a song that managed to reach number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and became a number one in the United Kingdom. The man has certainly come a long way since that battle of the bands in his high school senior year and indeed there's a YouTuber named Beetlebat who has already made an amazing video kind of talking about who Benson Boone is and how he got into music. So today what I want to do for you guys is do kind of like the past, the present and the future of Benson Boone. I picked out five key singles from before Beautiful Things that I'm going to give you my assessment of and then we're going to talk about where he's at and sort of contemplate a little bit on the future. What could be Benson Boone's next step? How is he going to capitalise on this blossoming career and that huge, huge success story in Beautiful Things? Boone kicked off his career with the song Ghost Town, perhaps his first artistic statement. This is a beautiful piano ballad played in 6-8 with a real gorgeous and somewhat haunting arpeggio sequence being played. Alongside the piano, Boone's immaculate voice is backed up with these incredible harmonies and I feel like the percussion, the simple percussion, does a lot to really sell the emotion of this song. Boone cites Shawn Mendes as one of his influences and you can hear that in the soulfulness of his voice. But on a first listen, this song actually reminded me much more of Lewis Capaldi and I feel like this is the kind of song you would expect to hear on his debut album. Another song off of Boone's debut EP, Walk Me Home, is a song named In The Stars. This is a really heartfelt song about the loss of Boone's grandmother. It really is quite a cathartic song. It does this amazing thing where it contains very specific imagery, such as the second verse talking about this crumpled $20 note, which you know is almost diaristic and very much from Benson Boone's own experiences. And yet still this feels like a relatable song where you can scream the lyrics out at one of his concerts and have those feelings inside of you as you emote with maybe somebody in your own life who had passed away. Boone, I believe, is a Mormon. He has faith and he has Christianity. But I love how open he is in this song about that faith and about how the loss of this precious person has made him lose some of that faith. I admire his vulnerability in his storytelling here. A song that I personally like quite a lot is one named Before You. This, in a way, is Boone's attempt at a wedding song. Perhaps unleashing his inner Ed Sheeran, but hey, it seems to work, as I like the song, and many of the comments on the YouTube video do reference having this song as their first dance at a wedding. Although I mention Ed Sheeran, this song actually reminds me quite a lot of Harry Styles, especially in the vocal performance. And also, as a Snow Patrol fan, I do love the little Chasing Cars reference in that second verse. Sugar Sweet is a particularly distinct song in Boone's discography, and indeed, I don't know if there's another song that he has made that sounds like it. Straight from the beginning, this is a much more sassier song with a lot more attitude, and you can hear that throughout his vocals, which also use a lower register in his voice. It's really welcome, and I do find it very distinct, but at the same time, I have to admit that there's just something in the timbre of his voice in this one that I didn't particularly like. Likewise, there's some very playful lyrics in this one, referencing honey and sweetness. But overall, again, it just felt a little bit clunky and didn't quite work. Indeed, I mentioned that I don't know of another Benson Boone song that sounds like this one. And perhaps this one was an experiment that just didn't quite work out. Indeed, with Little Runaway, the last song off of his second EP, Pulse, we get him going back to what he does best, these beautiful piano ballads. This one also features quite a dramatic music video which sees him as an astronaut, but the song itself is actually written for one of his sisters. As Boone tries to understand and sympathise with her issues with mental health. It's a really heartfelt and beautiful song, and by this point it goes without saying that it has a sublime vocal performance. 
There's no doubt in my mind that Benson Boone is incredibly fortunate to have this level of success and acclaim, especially so early in his career. But then again, it is also a testament to the raw talent that this man has, as well as his sheer passion for music and creativity in general. The man has come such a long way from that Battle of the Bands, where he originally was just going to be playing piano. However, fate stepped in, when the singer pulled out right at the last minute, and he had to reluctantly take on that mantle. I think what happened that night was just as much a surprise to him as it was to everyone watching. Boone has also made some incredibly ballsy moves with his career. He got given this opportunity to appear on American Idol and ended up walking away from it, with things moving too quickly for him. I know that at college, Boone was studying architecture, and so it might have been that he still hadn't quite made up his mind where exactly he wanted to go with his life. Still though, he made a very, very ballsy move, and one that clearly worked out, as suddenly Dan Reynolds of Imagine Dragons fame came calling, and Boone was able to sit down and engage in some writing sessions with him. You would assume that those writing sessions would have led to the song Ghost Town, but it didn't. And that in itself demonstrates not just how talented Boone is, but also that he has a keen ear for melody and that he is himself an accomplished writer. Boone, of course, has also become famous thanks to TikTok, and he is very much a product of the current era where content is king. When we look at the singles that he put out before the album, there's actually been quite a steady string of them, with him consistently putting out new music throughout 2023. This is something that I think is really going to help Benson Boone with his career, and I think is going to help him avoid the trap that Carly Rae Jepsen fell into about a decade ago. To remind you guys, she had a massive hit with the song Call Me Maybe, and although the album that followed, Emotion, is an incredible pop album, and one that is very, very revered by us nerds on YouTube, it didn't quite get to the same levels of commercial success, and she did somewhat become a one-hit wonder. Although I do want to mention that Carly Rae Jepsen does have a very loyal fan base, even if it's slightly on what you could call the pop underground. My hope is that Benton Boone might follow more of that route that Lewis Capaldi has managed to take, at least in the UK. He had that huge hit song, Someone You Loved, and that first album was massive. I do remember in the UK especially it just being a huge release. Now, he could have come back with that second album and completely flopped, but he didn't. I remember Forget Me being played a lot on the radio. I think, was it Wish You Were The Best was another big single? And long story short, he put out the second album and he is still just as big now as he was when he first came out. Already, Benson Boone has put out a song named Pretty Slowly, demonstrating that he is not simply resting on his laurels after the success of Beautiful Things. I think this man is going to continue to put out content and continue to put out new releases. And that is going to help sustain him and continue to build this passionate fan base around him. And you know what? I wish him the best of luck because this man is an incredible talent. And I feel like his moment in the spotlight has been earned. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I myself do try my hand at writing original songs and even though I can't sing anything like Benson Boone, I will link one of those songs here that you might enjoy. Likewise, I'll pop in my playlist of other video essays and discussions. Stay safe, stay well, and I hope to see you in another video.